four years ago, uh, the Ralph Nader vote was largely a protest vote. Uh, those highly motivated people, those sort of core liberals, core Democrats, went for Nader as a protest uh, reaction. I think in this case, they don't really have that, that outlet anymore that they want to express. And if they do want to express it, they're going to go for a mainstream candidate like John Kerry. If they look at Ralph Nader now, four years later, they're going to say, you know what, a Nader vote is a throwaway vote, and we don't want to do that. Yeah, and the irony being, those who did protest, as you're, you're making this point, uh, if they wanted to protest last time, they actually ensured that Mr. Bush was in office, as it turned out. That's the argument. But here's something, Monica, I don't understand. There's no question Nader does have a following, and he will get some votes, but he's never used that as leverage. He just kind of went away for four years. Now he's back four years later. Is there something that he can use that for as leverage with the Democrats? Well, I think Nader's got a problem because Nader this time around doesn't really have an issue. I mean, this morning I saw him on Meet the Press announce that he's going to run as an independent, but he really doesn't have any kind of vehicle, any issue vehicle that would separate him from a John Kerry. So in order to make a compelling third party run for this thing, he's got to offer vo voters a, call, a compelling alternative to John Kerry, and I haven't seen it yet. It makes uh, uh, Nader look like this is strictly a vanity run. Well, he started with okay. a vehicle, and that was the Corvair. But we're not going to talk about that now. Jeff, Monica, thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Well, coming up, why John Ashcroft on the Justice Department is being sued by a former U.S. prosecutor, a man who won the first conviction in the war on terror. And O.J. Simpson, remember him? His legal troubles are now following him to St. Louis. We will tell you what he is saying about a judge's order. And Sex in the City bids farewell. Who will Carrie end up with, Big or the Russian, or neither? We've got a preview coming up. Stay with us. Ralph Nader's decision to run for president. Nader officially entered the race today. The Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade is claiming responsibility for a bus bombing in Jerusalem that has left eight people dead and dozens more injured. Defense Secretary Don Rumsfeld making a surprise visit, or rather just a visit, to our troops in the Gulf. Rumsfeld blaming al-Qaeda terrorists for the violence in Iraq. We'll get back to uh, more on Iraq later, but now let's go back over to uh, to my colleague Bob. Bob. You, you can't remember because Greg's out today. Yeah, I know. It's and usually Greg Jerry. He broke his arm. Yes, he did uh, on the ice. So he goes to Iraq and everything's fine. Comes home here and he falls and breaks his arm. That's so. always how it is. Greg, hope everything's going all right. Hope to see you soon. Um, the prosecutor in the only terror case to make it before a jury post 9-11 using the law to go after John Ashcroft, the Attorney General. Richard Convertino suing the Attorney General, saying he didn't get enough support from Justice Department in his case, and that the feds were more interested in public relations than seeing justice served. So, does he have a case? We're speaking with Stephen Cohn. He's Richard Convertino's attorney. Welcome, sir. Tell Good me, morning. Tell me what you're accusing the Attorney General of doing or not doing. Well, they violated the Privacy Act by leaking confidential information about Richard, the prosecutor. But more significant, they actually blew the cover of an undercover confidential informant in the war on terrorism, a key human asset, and forced him to go into hiding and flee the country. All right. Um, those are your allegations. Uh, why sue? As a result, why not uh, letters or work inside the department? Why not, uh, as most people do, uh, try to work inside an organization and say, you know what, we need to fix that? This is like suing your boss or suing your boss's boss. Well, what happened is he did try to work within the system for about 18 months while that first terrorism trial was ongoing. He then tried to work with the U.S. Senate where he first went with concerns for, for, a number, for a period of time. He was retaliated against for going to the Senate. Then they leaked information on him. And then they exposed a confidential source. I mean, what you're looking at is misconduct that's actually harming the war on terror. And uh, Richard is a, a true patriot, a true hero. He well, stood wait a minute. Up. You're saying he's harming the war on terror, yet your client alleges that the attorney general is overstating the results in his war on terror, correct? 
Well, the overstatement was true, and that's an exaggeration. It's more public relations. But you, yeah, but I was just going to say, you, what's that? Why should an employee of the Justice Department make that call? Who is he to make that kind of call? Isn't that kind of irrelevant? What he thinks? And, and there wouldn't have been a lawsuit if that was the only issue. What they did was, they had he was working with a confidential informant undercover. The Justice Department illegally leaked out that name, forcing his informant to go into hiding and flee the country. So then your client conduct. decides, you know, I don't think that's the right thing to do, so I'm going to sue the head of the Department of Justice. Yeah, that was after trying to work it out for what, almost two years within the Justice Department and only facing escalating retaliation. It got to the point where action had to be taken when the okay, misconduct okay, okay, actually okay. harms the By the, the way, you, the, your client prosecuted these guys, convicted them. Uh, the defense said he wasn't given a certain amount of information. Did your client turn over the information that needed to be turned over? Well, absolutely. The, the Constitution under Brady requires certain disclosures. My client fully complied with that. But if there is a Brady issue, that's up to the court to figure out. My client believes in the Constitution. What are you trying he... to accomplish, sir? We're almost out of time. What do you well, hope to accomplish here? Well, I think we need to hold the Justice Department accountable for the violation of the rights of privacy and force the Justice Department to protect that informant. What, do you want this to go to the Supreme Court? <laughs> no, I, I hope they just resolve the issues. Uh-huh. So you're suing the, uh, really, the boss's 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 boss. I mean, this is uh, uh, a whistleblower. That's what you would call it, correct? There's no doubt, because he raised issues with the Senate and was All retaliated. Right. Steve Cohn, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. OJ is served. Simpson's late.